What is a flash drought? A flash drought might sound counterintuitive. Aren't droughts defined by long periods of time without rain? Yes, but a flash drought isn't about how long the ground has been dry, but how fast. Which is to say, usually the ground dries out over time, over a period of months or even years. But when a flash drought happens, it dries out much, much faster. Jason Otkin, a scientist at the University of Wisconsin, studies drought monitoring and prediction. And you may find yourself in a situation where you're in pretty good shape at, say, the beginning of July, but by the middle of August, you may be in severe to exceptional drought. You just don't have the same amount of time to prepare uh, for droughts to develop quickly. An example of a flash drought in recent years is the drought of 2012, which affected about 80% of agricultural land, according to the USDA. When Otkins studied this drought, he found that counties that reported being drought-free at the beginning of the month would report being in severe drought by the end of the month. Lack of rain, sunny days, high winds, all worked together to make a flash drought. This is what happened in the summer of 2012, and it happened in a few weeks, not months, which would have given farmers and ranchers time to prepare. Probably one of the most important things at this point is um, trying to develop tools that, again, can provide that early warning of flash drought, uh, but then more importantly, be able to get those tools in the hands of the end users, you know, you know the, the farmers and the ranchers that actually have to make their decision.